Hello everyone, this is Josh Hayes here. In this YouTube video of mine right now, I want to talk to you all about the Zygu X6100 versus the Zygu G90. Okay, it's a type of HF transceiver made. Well, Zygu X6100 also has six meters. Well, it has six meters. The Zygu G90 does not. What this video today will be about it's two HF transceivers, and of course, the Zygu X6100 has 6 meters, which is in the VHF spectrum. So, first of all, I'm going to start with the Zygu X6100. This right here is a radio that I've been thinking about buying, to be honest. It looks super cool. The reason why it looks super cool to me is that it has a push-to-talk button on it. So you don't even need that microphone, the external microphone. It has its built-in microphone, and as well, it has a B, I think it's a BNC port for an antenna. You could also use like a telescopic whip antenna and use that pretty much as a walkie-talkie, which is the coolest thing to me about this radio, y'all. You could use that as a walkie-talkie and talk to the other side of the world. It would be like a, basically like a phone that talks all the way to the other side of the world through the air with no like cell towers, no Wi-Fi necessary, just air to air. That is the coolest thing about that radio, in my opinion. Can you do that with a Zygu G90 radio? Let's look at that. Can you... Hold the Zygu G90 radio like a walkie-talkie. And does it have a push-to-talk button on the radio itself that's built in to the Zygu G90 radio? No, it does not. And you can't really use that as a walkie-talkie type radio, like a handheld radio. But the Zygu G90 radio has 20 watts as opposed to 5 watts that the... X6100 Zygu radio would have without, you know, being connected to AC power. That radio on battery power, the Zygu X6100, only has 5 watts unless it's connected to AC power. Then it has 10 watts. So the power is lower on that radio. But I've talked all the way to the other side of the world, all the way to Europe, with only 1 watt. So it's definitely possible on the right band conditions to communicate all the way to the other side of the world. And I was 5'9 with just one watt, but yet I was using a really good antenna system. I wasn't using a telescopic whip, but I've seen YouTube videos, people using the Zygu X6100 talking all the way, you know, several hundred miles at least. It depends on how good the antenna is. You know, the telescopic antenna, I'm sure it's possible to talk really far with just a telescopic antenna. It's a vertical type antenna, which is really neat. But the Zygu G90 radio, I know a lot about. It has it has uh, 10 meters all the way to 160 meters. It has 60 meters. It has 80 meters. You know, it has all the HF bands for ham radio that you need. Like the, the main ones, 10 meters to 160 meters. And this radio is a really nice radio. I know for a fact that it's nice. I have one. It's a very great radio, y'all. But the thing is, even though that can be a more portable radio than some radios, it can be. This radio, the Zygu G90, can be more portable then, you know, like a base station radio. The only thing is, is that this radio here isn't as portable as this radio right here. I'm going to put it on desktop mode if it'll let me. Let's see here. No, that's good. Anyways, so that radio right there, y'all, see how nice that is? The Zygu X6100. That is a super portable radio. Super portable. 
That is the main feature that I love about that radio. If it was a 20-watt radio and it was portable, of course, then again, you got to realize how good is wattage 20 watts for a handheld radio that close to you, you know? Five watts is probably healthier for you than, you know, 20 watts. I'm just guessing. But uh, I know for sure that radio right there, I think that might be my next radio. Lord willing, I might buy that radio next. Um, the price is similar to the Zygu G90. And uh, the thing is with this radio, though, it has a lot more digital type features. I believe this radio even has its own sound card, if I remember correctly. Oh, it's on reading mode. Let's see. There we go. This is a super cool radio. The features on this radio is... It's an ultra portable. That's what I was saying earlier. The, it says X6100. The Zygu X6100 is an ultra portable shortwave transceiver. It adopts the software-defined radio software radio platform architecture of excellent performance, which carries powerful bass band and RF unit, integrating rich and diversified operating functions, bringing you a brand new recognition and experience on amateur radio. With its compact structure and tiny appearance, you can immediately set forth on a journey with it. Get close to nature and enjoy the fun of outdoor communication. That right there, y'all, is super awesome and a great statement, just like what I was saying earlier. It is so much more portable than any radio basically out there, except they make some like ICOM 705. They make uh, Yezu radios that are more portable, I'm pretty sure. But this one right here has its own push-to-talk button. The other ones might too, I'm not sure, but this features on this radio is SDR structure, HF and 50 megahertz full mode supporting data communication. By the way, y'all, I've heard that the firmware is like, the firmware is, uh, you know, it's, I think it's Linux. So you could uh, somehow, if you know a lot about Linux and stuff, you could actually, I don't know, I've heard that someday they may be able to open that radio up to two meters and 70 centimeters as well so if that's possible you have a really great radio but it's already a really great radio because you could use a regular mobile you know two meter radio like i have i have a yezu 2900r or you can get it you know i'm talking about mobile radios or base radios that's for two meters and 70 centimeters. But this one is the really cool thing about this is it has supporting data communication, transmitting power, external power supply. It's 10 watts. The battery power supply is five watts. Four inch high resolution color screen. Built in 3000 milliamp rechargeable lithium battery. The only thing is, y'all, I've heard what would you do if that battery runs down from years on. But then again... I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure those batteries are probably pretty good. And it's probably possible if you had to, you could send it to, you know, Radiodity possibly. If you're having a battery issue and they may be able to help you with that, I'm not sure. But built in, auto, but it's, you know, it's uh, probably a long lasting battery, I'm guessing. Built in automatic antenna tuner, which is great. I know Zygu G90 is great antenna tuner. I imagine that one is as well. Integrated SWR scanner and voice call. I'm not sure what voice call is, but SWR scanner, I love that feature on my Zygu G90 radio. I imagine it's pretty similar on that radio. Integrated modem, which is super cool. I think you could turn on it, like make it like Wi-Fi on that radio and also Bluetooth. See, it says Bluetooth and Wi-Fi function. Also, preset message, CW, automatic call, built-in Bluetooth, Wi-Fi function, enable wireless audio, keyboard, mouse operation, integrated USB control transmission, supports USB host, built-in high-stability TCXO internal clock source. That's awesome. Um, 
I'm not sure if you'd have to have an external sound card. You probably might, but you might not because it's a really nice looking radio. Um, I'm not sure if you need a external sound card like a digi rig. You might. It might work good with a digi rig. Uh, some radios don't even need that. Some uh, some radios are like Bluetooth, but if that one is Bluetooth, I imagine it possibly could work. You know, with uh, without a digi rig, possibly. I'm not sure though. Operation mode: upper sideband, lower sideband, CW, FM, RTTY, AM. That's everything you need right there. Even RTTY and CW. Wow. Upper sideband, lower sideband. Okay, and uh, antenna interface type is different than the Zygu G90 radio. It's BNC. So you probably have to get an adapter, I'm guessing, to plug into a regular coax antenna connector. But I'm sure like a little adapter isn't much, you know, it's not much to uh, buy. I'm sure it's only a few dollars probably to buy an adapter. Transmission power, external power supply, 10 watts. Battery power supply, 5 watts, like we said earlier. Like I said earlier, I mean. Transmitting power. This is neat. 10 watts on SSB, CW, and FM. So that includes data modes. You can go up to 10 watts on data modes. At 13.8 volts DC, 5 watts at battery. 2.5 watts AM. At 13.8 volt DC and 1.5 watt at battery. So you're only looking at 2.5 watts on AM. That's not a lot, to be honest. With the power supply and 1.5 watts with the battery isn't a lot either. But AM, a lot of times people don't talk too, too much on AM. But, uh... I believe the G90 has full 20 watts on AM versus 2.5 watts to 1.5 watts. But is that really that big of a difference? It is, but uh, the thing is, if it's only a 10-watt radio, 2.5 watts or 1.5 watts is low for AM. I'm not sure why it would be like that for AM. Maybe it's fixed now or something, or maybe uh, maybe that's what it is. Only 2.5 to 1.5 watts. That would be probably a drawback of that radio. The only thing is that most people don't talk on AM. And if you did talk on AM, you know, I've talked around the world on 1 watt. So this is more like a real, that'd be a fun challenge, to be honest, to be able to talk super far and you know when the band conditions are open y'all 1.5 watts to 2.5 watts am probably could even though am is a lot wider bandwidth it probably could still work pretty good if the band is open really good you know i'm, I'm glad it has 10 watts on fm 5 watts on fm on battery and versus you know power supply and battery power supply and battery but uh even though I'm looking at it now, 2.5 watts and 1.5 watts AM, it doesn't look like a lot. But maybe they fix that in the firmware update, possibly. You know, that'd be great. I'm sure that's probably possible, I guess. I don't know, but even if it's not, even if it's not possible to fix that with a firmware update, 2.5 watts AM and 1.5 watts with the battery on AM is still pretty decent, you know? It's not a lot. It's not even five watts, but it's still decent enough where you can probably make a contact if the band conditions are open really well. But other than that, that what's cool about that, the frequency band is 2.4 gigahertz, or I think that's what it is for wi wireless or Wi-Fi. Bluetooth version 4.0. See, the cool thing about this radio, y'all, is that it is a software-defined radio. And on AM, maybe they can open that up to transmit the full 5 to 10 watts. Or maybe 
it's just how it is. That's that's fine too. I'm sure it's not that bad. I mean, you can make contacts with that low power probably when the band conditions are open. The frequently asked questions, and then the uh, the description. Look how nice that radio is, though. It might be touchscreen. I'm not sure, but that radio looks super cool. HF 50 megahertz transceiver has 50 megahertz or six meters as well. But for what you get with that radio, it looks like a really good radio. And I'm thinking about buying this radio soon, y'all. This radio right here, it costs. It was six thirty nine. It's marked down five ninety nine. The Zygu G ninety radio only costs a lot less four ninety nine ninety nine, and then they marked that price out to make it four forty five. To be honest, I would say that the Zygu G ninety radio, being that it has more watts is a I would almost say it's a better buy because it has more wattage but then again you know you could talk around the world like I have with only one watt and digital modes like you can do on the 6100 Zygu X6100 you don't need a lot of wattage Uh, but the thing is, y'all, another thing is this X6100 radio has a lot more features. And it's actually a really popular popular radio. There's not super a lot of difference, y'all, between 10 watts and 20 watts. Now, 5 watts and 20 watts, there probably is some difference. But I'm not sure how many S units of difference it would be. But you wouldn't want too much power anyways as a handheld radio. For health-wise, I wouldn't think you'd want 20 watts out of an antenna right above you when you're transmitting. But I know for sure on the HF bands, I know this for a fact, I've heard people hear me hundreds of miles away when I turn my Zygu G90 radio down all the way to 1 watt. Hundreds of miles away. And like I said the other day, or like I said before, and I'll give it more details here uh, right now, is that I talked all the way, I believe it was to Slavic Republic, only on one watt. And I was 5'9", only on one watt. And the really cool thing about that is that it's possible. It's possible to talk that far with just one watt and be 5'9". When the ham radio HF band conditions are right. And this radio right here goes up to 5 watts. So yes, 5 watts can get you talking around the world just with 5 watts on sideband. That's absolutely possible. And even on FM probably... Uh, when 10 meters opens up. So yes, 5 watts for a handheld portable radio is great. It's all about the antenna as well and your elevation. Sometimes that matters a lot more. You can get you a telesc you could buy you a telescopic antenna, I mean, like get you a real good telescopic antenna and tune that perfectly. And you will be able to talk around the world. And I'm sure I will be able to talk around the world because I have with only one watt. I know I was using a nice in-fed antenna. But the thing is, y'all, I've also talked with only just, you know, like a regular whip antenna. And I've talked all the way to South America. And, you know, I had the power, I think, on my radio, my Zygo G90 radio down 
only to like one to five watts, I think, just, you know, trying to test QRP. And it's definitely possible to talk less power, y'all. Talk with less power and communicate far distances. That was a while back. I uh, think it was uh, Jamaica or somewhere where I talked far distance. And, you know, a little whip antenna would work. As long as it's, you know, not just a receive antenna. It's, you know, one of those good communicating antennas. BNC antennas, all you need, a whip. It'd be nice if it was multi-band antenna. That's possible, I guess. But that radio right there, I'm sure could tune it. If it's like the Zygu G90 radio, which I hear it tunes good, the X6100. As far as I know, I mean, it, it's the same type of tuning, I'm sure, similar. But that radio right there, y'all, it looks like a great radio. Now, I was thinking about buying possibly an amplifier for my Yaesu FT450D. But the thing is, I mean, yeah, it'd be great to have an amplifier to be heard more clear and louder to carry on a nice QSO on 80 meters or 40 meters and uh, even 20 meters and stuff like that. But the thing is, y'all, I would have to upgrade my antennas to handle more power, like 500 watt amplifier. I'd have to have more power, more uh, better antennas for my, you know, like thicker antennas to handle 500 watts as opposed to a 100 watt, you know, regular radio. My my Yaesu 450D only has 100 watts, but hey, y'all, I've talked a long distance with that radio. And 100 watts is really good. Yes, am amplifiers are great. And I, I, I would like to buy an amplifier one day. But for my next radio purchase, I believe I'm going to buy this Zygu 6100, X6100 right here. The main reason for me is that it's portable. And that microphone that's with it, you don't have to bring that with you. There's a little push to talk button. I don't know if I can zoom in, but right there above the volume control knob, there's a push to talk button. I think that's where it is. And you could literally talk on that radio like a walkie talkie all around the world. That is the main thing that I like about that radio, y'all. It looks super cool. Talking around the world like on a walkie talkie. It's the coolest thing I've ever, I've ever seen, you know. You don't have to carry a big old, you know, external battery supply or, you know, external power supply. I mean, you know, you could just turn that radio on once it's charged and talk on it. I've heard that has some good battery life, too, on that radio. Up to, I think, several hours continuous talking. I'd have to research more about how long the battery lasts, but but it's a rechargeable battery. And... You could also use the power supply. I think it has a little plug that you plug it in. That's pretty handy. If I had to, I could put a little uh, little DC to AC power inverter thing on my foiler cigarette lighter plug. Plug the little plug in. I think it says DC in. You don't really have to have like a red and black power supply thing. You just plug it in and I would be able to have 10 watts. That's super exciting. I'd, I'd be able to have 10 watts just sitting on my four-wheeler. I wouldn't have to uh, I wouldn't have to have a big bulky power supply. Now I could take my Zygu G90 radio and hook the wires up to the cigarette lighter plug on my four-wheeler, and that works good too. But to be able to have less wires like this radio right here, the Zygu X6100, that's a really good benefit to me. I wouldn't want to have to have so many wires. And if I can get that radio right there to be wireless like that, how cool that is, that would be awesome, y'all. Anyways, I hope this helped y'all. I just wanted to share my excitement about this radio. I may buy this radio next, the Zygu X6100. I'm thinking about buying this radio next. It's portable size. Look how nice that is, y'all. That is super cool. SDR structure upgrade. That is very nice. 
Very nice, y'all. Wireless operation. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all that. Y'all see that? That is so neat. Anyways, y'all, this is Josh Hayes. I hope this uh, video of the Zygu X6100 versus the Zygu G90 radio was helpful to you. And all I can say, y'all, is I'm really excited about this X6100, the, the Zygu X6100 radio. It makes me excited just looking at it every time I look at it. I'd like to be able to have a walkie-talkie I could talk around the world with. That's the coolest feature in my opinion. And you could do a lot of great digital modes, too. It's awesome. And it decodes, I think. I'm not sure exactly, but I know it decodes CW, I'm sure. RTTY and PSK31. I believe it does that, too. I am pretty pretty sure it decodes those. I don't know if I'll be able to find where it says that or not, but I'm pretty sure it decodes that, y'all. Let's see if it does or not. I'm pretty sure it does decode all that. Let me know in the comments if it decodes PSK31 and RTTY. And if it doesn't, it's not that big of a deal because, which I'm pretty sure it does decode CW for sure and maybe RTTY and PSK31. But if it didn't, I mean, it'd be a lot easier with this radio probably to connect it to digital modes like FT8, you know, Winlink, all that because less wires to connect your computer to your radio. It might be wireless. Who knows? I'd have to research more about that. A wireless Bluetooth connection for the audio in, audio out. I think that's possible. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's possible. Anyways, y'all, I hope y'all enjoy this video. May God bless you all and have a wonderful day. 73. Thank you. God bless you.